I am Adil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to convert one form of the equation to another. We are beginning with the vector equation. The equation here is write parametric, symmetric and Cartesian equation for xy equals to 3 1 plus t 2 minus 3. Now Cartesian equation is also called scalar equation. So let's see how to write all these equations. What we're given here is the vector equation xy is equal to 3 1 plus the parameter t 2 minus 3. Now here t is always belongs to real numbers, right? To write the parametric equation, that's very simple. We can write what x is and what y is. So, so we could write this as x equals to 3 plus 2t and y equals to 1 minus 3t. So that becomes the parametric form of the equation, right? So this is parametric equation. Let me write down. Okay. Now to get the symmetric equation, what we need to do is we need to isolate t. So we'll now isolate t, the parameter t. So see what happens. So we have the equation which is x equals to 3 plus 2t. So we can write this as x minus 3 equals to 2t and then from here t is equals to x minus 3 divided by 2. Similarly, we can isolate y, right? To isolate y, we know it is y equals to 1 minus 3t. We can write this as y minus 1 equals to minus 3t or y minus 1 divided by minus 3 is t. Now, both these equations, x minus 3 divided by 2 is equal to t y minus 1 divided by minus 3 is also equal to t and so we could write our equation as x minus 3 divided by 2 is equal to y minus 1 divided by minus 3. Once you write like this that becomes your symmetric equation. Okay so this is the symmetric equation right so so we got two types of equations. One is parametric, the other one is symmetric from the given vector equation, right? So, so we have these two. Now the question is how to write the Cartesian equation? Well, let's begin with the symmetric equation to write Cartesian equation. So that is the best way. So let's start with symmetric equation which is x minus 3 divided by 2 equals to y minus 1 divided by minus 3. You can cross multiply, right? So at this stage, you can cross multiply. So if you cross multiply, you get minus 3 times x minus 3 equals to 2 times y minus 1. Now distributive properties, we get minus 3x and minus 3 times minus 3 is plus 9 equals to 2y minus 2. Now it is good practice to keep coefficient of x positive. So I'll take these terms to the right side. So I'll write this as 3x and then we also have plus 2y minus 9 minus 2 equals to 0, right? So we can write this as 3x plus 2y minus 11 equals to zero. Now this form of the equation is called the Cartesian or scalar form. So this is your Cartesian or scalar form. Now this equation is only possible in two space, right? This is only possible in two space or R3 as we say, right? R2. This is not possible in R3. So remember that part. So anyway, in this video, you have learned how to write 
one form of the equation into others, right? I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.